Welcome back. This is my second video today on Friday. It is the 20th of September and it's a Friday afternoon in South Africa where I am. I wanted to also uh, just talk a little bit about some of the uh, awarenesses or insights and reasons for my uh, recent long fast. At the moment, I am making a beautiful chicken and vegetable broth. Um, I did have something this morning to break my fast, but for this evening and perhaps tomorrow and the start of the day, I still want to have something that's really very easy to digest. As you can imagine, after not eating for 86 hours, your digestive tract needs a very gentle reintroduction of food. So I don't want to eat anything that's difficult to digest, definitely not anything that's uncooked, unless it's perhaps um, avo, um, and just really still nourishing my body for the next uh, day or, or so. So welcome back, health and wellness with Emma Mentel. In my previous video, I spoke about just the long fast and the equinox and some of the um, insights one can try and get from this awareness when the planets really are um, so perfectly aligned to create um, opportunities for us to have a breakthrough. And that, I think, is a theme that everybody really resonates with. Uh, there are very few people I know, if any, who don't desire some kind of breakthrough from something. Maybe not in every life area, but at least in one of the life areas, such as your health and well-being, your finances, your relationships, even your relationship with yourself. So for me, um, the journey towards wholeness, and healing has been happening for the longest, longest time. And one day perhaps I must do a video about that. But for today's um, conversation, I'm just gonna talk about my, my sort of recent thoughts about where I'm at health-wise. So I have been working with insulin resistant for many, many, many years. The low carb and fasting approach really suits me well and I've managed to um, address a lot of the um, underlying um, and root causes that um, get in the way of that. Um, and then for me from a weight uh, perspective, it's been a very frustrating and long journey. At times losing weight easily and then regaining it very quickly. Obviously it is also part of the whole insulin resistance um, pattern. But when we are so overwhelmed with so many things, you know, stress getting in the way um, and perhaps big changes in our lives, it can be very easy to resort to comfort eating. And I'm a big um, comfort eater. I'm someone who easily turns to food when I feel overwhelmed or stressed or just upset, um, even bored. And that was so interesting for me this week during my fast that I wasn't hungry at all. And yet there was a temptation to even buy food the one day when I was in a store. I had to go and do other things. So I wasn't trying to make it difficult for myself, but I just thought about it. Oh, that's interesting. You know, we, we, we get into such habits with buying food and eating that when we dedicate a whole week to fasting, it's almost an automatic thing. We want to look at the food aisle, even if we don't need anything. And for me, um, in the last few months, I have been processing a lot of um, different things from last year, big changes in my life. And part of that resulted in um, me really leaning into comfort eating in, in a destructive way. So I'm being very transparent here. You know, it's not always just all about control 
and counting your carbs and doing it all so perfectly, even though I'm so familiar with a longer fast, you know, there are times in between when uh, my eating is nowhere near perfect. And I thought I would share uh, that here with you because I'm sure many of you can relate. So of course, when we gain weight um, as women, and I'm not just making this about a, a female a consideration, for some males as well, when we gain weight, we can suddenly feel like everything is wrong with us. Um, like there's another reason to judge ourselves or be very critical of ourselves, even though we've done so well in so many other areas of a healing journey. And we are all on some kind of healing journey, as I said. Everybody's looking for some kind of breakthrough. Now, one would think that breakthrough would mean that you would shift the weight that perhaps has been accumulating. And for me, it actually went the other way. I gained, I regained weight that I had lost um, two or three years ago. So it was a very frustrating journey for me. And it has been like months of trying to find, you know, where, how do I approach this? And I'm doing many things. Um, I'm working with a homeopath. I'm working with being kind to myself. I'm working with being patient. I'm working with allowing my body to actually feel what it needs to feel. And I've done a lot of work around that. Um, I recently did a trip on my own to a game reserve, which I spoke about as well. And there I had a lot of time to sit, not just think, um, but also to feel. Of course, we are scared of feeling, especially if it's something that is difficult. So where to from here? part of this reset and using the equinox as a, um, an overlighting container to hold space for me for this week. Uh, I wanted to commit to myself um, in the sense that, you know, I deserve to take myself seriously. I deserve to stick to a commitment and it's not about a goal, but if I know that something is destructive, if a habit is destructive, if a habit like um, comfort eating is not bringing me joy, if it's maybe um, a dopamine uh, fix that I need, if it's just comforting that I need, there are other ways of doing that. So fasts for me will always offer this opportunity. What would I like a breakthrough from? What and in what area of my life would I like to shift something that's holding me back? And what area of my life would I like to um, really rededicate um, my healing journey to a particular thing that is still holding me back? And as we go through our lifetime, whether we're 20, 30, um, 57 now, there will always be something that we might identify that's holding us back. It might be um, a, a lack kind of consciousness where we're worried about not having enough money. It might be that we feel lonely because we are not in a relationship or we're not married. It might be something like weight that makes us feel that we are not good enough or not uh, beautiful enough or that, you know, nobody can take us seriously if, if we are still carrying some excess weight. And that, of course, for a health practitioner like myself can often be, you know, a big uh, challenge. Uh, knowing that I have a lot of good advice to offer, even if I'm not at the perfect weight where I want to be. And it's not an idealistic um, weight. It's definitely not unrealistic. Um, but I know that for those of you and those of us that have dealt with a lot of uncertainty in the last few years. The whole world really had gone mad and we didn't know from morning to evening what was going to happen. 
if you are somebody who's had to always prepare for the worst, perhaps really living in survival mode and always um, planning to get ready in case something goes wrong, if you have feared uncertainty, you know, it can be almost an obvious response from the body to want to hold onto something that makes it feel safe. So we have to work on regulating our nervous system. We have to work on finding ways in which we can deeply appreciate our bodies. And by this, I don't mean that we should be obese and just saying, just love your body, it'll be okay. I want to be well and I want to be healthy. The weight is something that will start to fit around that in one way or the other and it always does and my particular body um, has typically always either held on or easily let go so the next phase i hope will be one for me where my body feels safe enough it feels held and appreciated uh, by me enough for it to not need um, to hold on to excess weight. And part of this weekend, I will still journal about it because the equinox is only tomorrow and Sunday. And um, so over the weekend, um, and I use rituals. It might be a fire, it might be a letter that I write, I journal about it. I really do some deep meditation where I appreciate and thank my body for carrying me so well, for being so generous and so patient with, you know, all the thinking and all the things that we can burden our bodies with. But I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please share and please comment and let me know uh, if this resonated for you.